good morning to you on the fourth day of the Future Print Virtual Summit, which is our packaging day. And uh, here we are, 11 o'clock on Thursday. And I'm looking forward to this session because we're really looking at something a little bit different. Um, what This is printing what it said on the tin with Inkjet from Inca and Tin Masters. So a um, bit different, a little bit interesting. And I've got two great guys with me today. I have Matt Brooks, who is Head of Products and Solutions at Inca, and he's been involved within the printing industry for something like 20 odd years, starting off his career behind the scenes as an ink chemist. Uh, but now he's responsible for the Onset M product and business development of Inca's future packaging technology. So very much in the space we're talking about today. Well, welcome to you, Matt. Thanks, Fraser. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Just a little bit of response, so we know the microphone's working. And then he's invited his customer with him, uh, who's Richard O'Neill, who is CEO of Tin Masters, based down in Swansea. He's almost three decades of experience in metal packaging, covering a whole supply chain, producing a raw material, converting into cans, and applying coatings and inks. And Tin Masters, very interestingly, are about to install the Onset M, which will be offering digital inkjet to metal packaging sector for the first time. So we are absolutely honoured to have the pair of these guys with us today and going to share with us their, their vision of how uh, digital technology, inkjet technology, can be used in uh, metal, you know, printing on metal. So, gents, hi to you both. Richard, hi. Hello, everybody. Good. Uh, okay, we're going to pass this over to Matt. He's going to share some slides for us and just give us a little bit of a, an overview. Okay, thanks. Ready to go? Yeah. Great. Fantastic. We're, 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 we're rocking. That's good. Okay, I'm just going to move us over here. So far away, Matt. So thanks, Fraser. Uh, thanks for the kind introduction. Uh, morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me today, Richard. Um, so as Fraser indicates, um, we've got a good opportunity here to explore um, some new, uh, new packaging applications for one of Inca's products. Um, and we're, we're focusing in on the uh, um, uh, opportunity that that presents itself. So as, as Fraser mentioned, the, the title of the the uh, presentation, printing what it says on the tin, taking that to you know it's it, to the extreme, physically printing uh, digitally on sheet metal, and then forming that and bringing it those sheets to life in a, in, in a real product. Um, so, um, as we uh, move forward, just uh, before we get into some of the detail, uh, Richard and I just will give you a kind of brief overview of our, our two companies and. and then we'll, we'll get into some of the, the finer detail for today. So um, Inca actually celebrated its 20th birthday this year. Uh, we, we were founded in, in 2000. Um, we certainly pride ourselves as a leader in the uh, development and, and manufacturing of, of inkjet printers, um, initially for, for graphics and sign and display applications um, but uh, most recently um, exploring other market segments and other opportunities to develop our products further and thinking about the future and uh, you know the next 20 years uh, into other markets which include you know, packaging applications um, I think uh, all those years ago uh, end of 1999 the start of the millennium um, as a, as a result of a spin out from Cambridge Consultants uh, is where Inca really uh, came from. Um, so leading development development for, for what was a novel technology and, and very new um, was and still yeah, the, the foothold for what is a very strong um, basis for, for today's uh, uh, business strategy and, and product uh, offerings. So uh, we actually launched the first inkjet printer in 2001 the eagle 44 and since then it's been a, an evolution of products every 18 months two years something new to the market whether it be in the form of a, a print engine itself or an automation handling system 
or some workflow solution system. So always listening to our customers. And that's really what today is about, the message for today, working with Richard, uh, working with directly with Tim Masters, understanding what their future strategy is and how we can um, develop the product further um, for today's market and future markets. Um, and just want to sort of finish really by saying that, you know, 20 years old, but 15 of those 20 years, we've been part of Screen Group of Kyoto from Japan. So we have a, a, a nice uh, strategic backing from a, a well-known um, uh, technology company uh, who has uh, one eye on, on packaging for its future. Um, and within those 20 years, as I mentioned, the evolution of products, a broad range of products you know, where we have dipped into packaging you know, way back in 2006 with our fast jet product, um, the, the onset, our flagship multi-pass wide format device, um, and the robot, robot technology, which allows us to look at various packaging applications, including corrugated and, and sheet metal. Um, and most recently with the launch of Onset M, uh, which is the product we're primarily focusing on, on today, um, there on, on the top right. So a, a B1 format digital, UV digital printer, um, which lends itself nicely into, into the metal uh, decorating uh, market. So that's Inca um, in, a, in a brief uh, snapshot. And, and now I'll hand over to, to Richard to, to introduce Tim Masters. Hello, everybody. Um, at Tin Masters, we print and apply uh, protective and decorative coatings to metal for the metal packaging sector. Uh, specifically, that's steel and aluminium. In the case of the steel, it has a thin uh, coating of tin on top and it's actually called plate. And we've been doing that for over a century since 1909. Um, in that time, we've pretty much printed uh, every type of application there is out, out there in the market. Um, really proud to, of our ethical uh, standards and proud to be part of the metal packaging supply chain. Uh, metal packaging is a particularly good solution I I from an environmental point of view. Uh, it has um, one of the highest recycling rates right throughout Europe. So if you buy something that's in, in a metal pack, it's very, very likely that it's going to get recycled. And on top of that, uh, metal can be recycled an infinite number of times, which other formats can't. Um, so it is uh, perfect for a circular economy. Additionally, uh, metal provides really great protection, in the, obviously in case of physical protection, but probably uh, more interestingly in relation to food, it provides protection against UV and oxygen, which means that um, food products have a long shelf life, uh, which is really important in reducing food waste. You know, almost 30% of, of food ends up getting wasted. So anything we can do on, on that front is, is really positive. In terms of our customers, we supply uh, very large multinationals like Nestle, uh, Associated British Foods and Kraft Heinz. And right at the other end of the spectrum, owner-managed SMEs uh, like William Say and JKP Tins. And in between, we've got the big um, international can makers like, uh, like Crown and Trivia. Uh, so a very broad range of customers. Our main markets are the UK and Ireland. Uh, we have supplied in the past uh, into mainland Europe as well. Um, we were quite dominant in our markets with the largest independent metal packaging printer in the UK. Uh, in terms of uh, a bit about the company, we're equity backed. We have uh, 75 employees and a typical turnover around 14 million. Uh, there's some images at the bottom of typical, typical types of metal packaging. Um, your promotional uh, whiskey, um, uh, whiskey tins, um, you've got biscuit tins, paint tins, tea and coffee tins, um, uh, infant formula, uh, sweet tins, uh, chocolates and, uh, and biscuit tins. And then you've got the more kind of industrial areas uh, like um, lubricants, uh, adhesives, etc., and other aerosol products. So that's a little bit about us. And um, I'll hand you back on to Matt. Thanks, Richard. Um, thanks for the insight to, to Tim Masters and um, really excited for, for some of the uh, applications that we can see there on, on display that, that our product can, can be part of. So um, as I mentioned in the intro overview, 
the, the, the various product launches over throughout Inca's uh, history to date. Um, and one of the most recent ones being the Onsa M, um, which is a, a B1 uh, specified UV inkjet printer. Um, I've uh, just picked out some, some key elements of the, the product spec, kind of more attributed to um, why we now have this opportunity in, in tin plate printing and, and metal decor, um, looking at the key features um, to try and uh, compete with the conventional processes of offset litho. So um, it's a fully UV curing um, system um, which uh, can print. Uh, with with full width scanning sheet to sheet, um, there there is a a final UV curing tunnel to help maintain um, you know, full fully cured uh, coatings. Um, and whilst it's uh, you know uh, from a point of view of a print production, uh, we are able to achieve uh, just over two hundred sheets per hour um, B one format, um, which has been uh, able to create a print quality that matches the, the offset litho um, world. Um, I think one of the challenges previously for digital, particularly for sheet metal and other offset applications for packaging is the quality requirement. The fact that you know, digital has never quite made that step up. Um, we're confident with the design of this product on set M that we now are able to uh, uh, be considered as, a, as an option. Uh, for, for offset replacement and that's primarily down to the, the print quality and, and our integration of our, our print head technology being able to um, hit uh, the, uh, the DPI requirements and, and small point text as well as just general ink lay down and, and the ink chemistry um, developed by Fujifilm to tune, uh, to finally tune with the print head and the um, ink delivery system. And obviously then that in, in line with uh, the, the high speed uh, handling and, and offload, loading and offload system. Um, so another key feature there for, uh, uh, certainly for, uh, for offset replacement is the, the hands-free um, uh, handling, um, hands-free operation. So fully, fully automatic sheet feeding, you know, you can uh, load in a, a stack, a pallet of sheets, uh, set the job up, um, and let the, the printer take over um, all the way through uh, to stack uh, at, the, at the end uh, without any you know, tweaking, adjustment, um, manual operator intervention, uh, which you know, frees up for, for other things to be done, uh, you know, machine up on utilization of, of, of resource um, and gives you a fully flexible uh, system. Uh, moving into some of the key materials, obviously, you know, we're focusing on sheet metal today, but uh, there are a number of other applications and other, other uh, material ranges, including offset paper, folding box board, carton board, um, and you know, to some extent, micro flute and, and plastic media. Again, uh, lots of opportunity in terms of print applications, not just uh, point of sale and, and graphics, but more niche um, speciality such as lenticular uh, but also then in the packaging world um, for, for folding carton um, shelf ready packaging um, farm care cosmetics and obviously metal um, with some of the uh, products that, that Richard's men mentioned there uh, decorated cans paint cans aerosols um, and, and also other metal opportunities such as um, disc caps for champagne and sparkling wine. We have uh, one, uh, one particular customer um, in Europe who has exactly the same product that we're discussing here uh, for that entire application. He has you know, able to produce uh, digitally. Um, and the main part of the spec there is uh, the quality, but also the registration accuracy and the, uh, the fine text. Um, as well as the benefit of it being digital, that, that personalization, on-demand printing, short lead time, turnaround, fast turnaround time can be achieved compared to um, the conventional analog process. Um, so, you know, we can see from a point of view of the device itself, sheet fed, flat sheets printed, 
uh, high speed, fairly high speed, uh, high quality, uh, good registration accuracy, um, which is required for, for the whole you know, end-to-end process, finishing, um, die cutting, etc., cetera, um, and uh, reasonable format size uh, for an uh, introductory uh, into, into digital printing. Um, and you know this has ticked a lot of boxes for for Tim Masters particularly in their journey. Um, and now Richard will explain a little bit more about why inkjet, why digital, and uh, why specifically the the onset end product. Okay. Well, in terms of a little background on metal packaging, it, as as things are today, it's um, it's pretty much entirely offset litho printing, and that's um, in spite of of uh, uh, consistent trend uh, over a number of years towards smaller order sizes. Um, for us in, in Tim Masters, we've been looking at digital uh, for a number of years and up until now, uh, what's, what's uh, been a complete barrier for us is the, is the quality level. We just haven't seen commercial quality print. So I guess we went to look at the, um, the test prints on the Onset M. We, we were ex- expecting to be disappointed and we're very pleasantly surprised with the, the quality that was achieved. And, and hence, uh, we're looking to install um, an onset M in October. Uh, for us, uh, we think it's going to be a really good solution uh, at, at the smaller order sizes, the sub 500 units. We, we measure in sheets, sheets of metal. So below 500 sheets, uh, we think this is going to be a, a really good solution for our customers. Um, we see quite a bit of demand already uh, below the um, in these small sort of order sizes, but at the moment um, litho is so uh, expensive when you're talking about you know a 200 sheet run or you know uh, order sizes like that that we actually think there's quite a bit of latent demand here. And when there is a solution available, we think the um, more customers will will order in these uh, quantities. Um, so. Uh, our target is the um, is the smaller 500 unit uh, order sizes. We're also really excited because we can see that, uh, having learned a bit about digital in in the process over the last couple of months, it's a much much faster process than than our traditional litho printing. Um, we think that's going to be very exciting for designers and marketeers because they will be able to sample and prototype um, and experiment with different designs very very quickly and see the results you know almost instantly um, it also offers the uh, the possibilities of personalization and again that's something we're getting requests to do which really is very difficult with with traditional uh, offset and uh, i suppose another um, exciting area for us that that's come to light is with the um, uv inkjet is is a possibility of um, special effects using the ink to actually produce you know decorative textures or even functional textures uh, on the actual product itself so very exciting excited about what it can do uh, and and what we hopefully will be able to offer customers very soon um, it's not the complete package for us we know that when you get a above a thousand sheets um, digital won't be uh, cost effective against lifo between 500 and 1,000, it depends exactly on, on what the job is as to which is the best answer. And uh, the, the Onset M isn't perfectly aligned to our requirements. So we have some larger sheet sizes than the Onset M can cope with. So we, we know it's not the, um, uh, you know, the absolutely perfectly tuned solution, but we see this as a, a first step for us on, on what we hope will be a much longer digital journey. Very, very excited about the potential and um, we are in talks and very keen to elaborate on a second generation machine that, that you know, is really fine-tuned at, at what we need, where we think uh, it can be uh, much more of a mainstream technology rather than a niche technology that's, that's really focused on these small order sizes. So I guess you know, that, that's, uh, that's where we are. And um, I think it's probably a good point to, to maybe hand back to Matt to talk a little bit about uh, hopefully where we, uh, where we can move together. Thanks, Richard. Yeah, so I think, um, you know, this, this is a really exciting first step 
for, for Tim Masters and for Inca to be part of that, um, that journey, uh, both with um, the opportunity that the Onset M presents and, and uh, fine tuning and developing that uh, further to suit, suit the needs of, of Tim Masters and, and their objectives. But also what it does is it allows us to really focus on what comes next and our, our future and how uh, collaboratively we can help uh, define potentially a product that can can uh, make the leap into to mainstream metal metal decoration. And so um, this slide really is looking at uh, Onset M and obviously uh, you know from a productivity versus investment and some of the discussions and conversations that uh, that Richard and I have been having that Inca Tim Masters have been having in terms of what what we're doing so you know we have an opportunity to work together and and define a a future single pass product uh, we we feel that single pass is the best uh, opportunity uh, to really hit the uh, economic requirements the uh, that, that richard mentioned uh, previously um, you know to, to make it competitive to make it attractive in that 500 plus uh, run length um, and you know we are developing and and, and working on um, a you know, speed set single pass product now um, you know with a view of it of it coming soon. Um, it's initially for for folding carton and corrugated applications for for packaging. You know as a, as, uh, for, for certainly some of those food and beverage carry cases, shelf ready packaging, um, and really building on the success and the the. Uh, um, specification of Onset M, but also um, it is a, a family of products. So within that specification, there is uh, you know, the opportunity to uh, work uh, with Tim Masters and define that specification that's needed for digital to, um, to, to uh, take over um, and replace offset life though. Um, here we think, you know, we, we are able to uh, lean on Tim Masters from their experience in, in, in both uh, defining a, a specification, um, speed, quality, handling, um, all those key key uh, parameters. Um, and we're really excited because um, you know whilst whilst uh, Tim Masters uh, begin their journey in digital, you know Inca is, a, is a beginning or uh, continuing its journey in packaging, um, and we see the single pass opportunity as as the next. Um, appropriate step. Um, I don't know, Richard, if you have any comment on that and uh, how, you, how you see that uh, coming together with your uh, with your views. Well, you know, we, we've done some um, some modelling, which uh, obviously you're aware of, Matt, um, and we can see the potential for uh, with single pass technology for inkjet to really. Um, be the bulk or the mass market in terms of uh, in, in in terms of uh, metal packaging. You know, we see the potential to be cost competitive at the the kind of three thousand, four thousand, even maybe five thousand sheet run sizes where a lot of the market is. Um, and, and of course, we see that there's a lot of other benefits. Um, you know, once you can once you can sort of hit the price uh, expectations that people have. So yeah, really excited with the um, with the potential, uh, and you know very keen to get going and and uh, start offering the solution out to customers so that uh, customers also start to learn a bit about about the advantages of digital and uh, so start educating them on how um, you know how the, the the pricing business model and everything else can work because it is going to be different to what we currently do. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, definitely, you know, as this slide says, what the future holds, well, you know, the future is, is, is in our hands, I think. If we, you know, we having such an opportunity to um, have Richard and his team involved with Inca and, and um, you know, the, this next generation technology is, is, the, is a big advantage for us uh, to, to, to uh, define how that looks. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a really great uh, next step. Um, so, um, in terms of metal and packaging and, and applications going forward, there's so much, uh, so much to talk about. You know, we could probably spend, uh, you know, the rest of Fraser's session discussing this. But uh, 
I think um, where it brings us to a nice point where we can uh, at least uh, take any questions and obviously if there are uh, any um, specific questions then you know around sheet metal packaging then then Richard is, is available and obviously if you have specific questions about the Onset Air more speed set products and uh, anything future related to Inca then, then get in touch with myself. Yeah so thank gentlemen thank you both for, for being very comprehensive in your detail of, of, of this. Let me ask a few questions as, as you mentioned Matt um, both of your details are on the uh, on our future print uh, program so you people can connect with you either via LinkedIn or via email if they want to ask questions so let me just ask a couple of questions um, Richard I'm interested in as you said yourself and I think this is spot on really is is the exciting thing is that your customers don't necessarily know about the opportunities of inkjet do they I'm definitely not at the moment um, so you know, we, we've obviously uh, done some test prints for customers and um, th they're, they're, the vast majority of our customers have years and years of experience in, in metal packaging. Um, there's a sort of set way of doing business and uh, it, digital is going to change that. It is going to be very different in terms of, um, you know, the upfront cost for doing test print, the speed at which you can do it. Uh, sort of uh, important issue for us is being able to produce um, metal proofs or samples of, of products mm. um, and for them to actually match the, co the later commercial proof. Now that's not always straightforward with life though. It's very time consuming and it's very expensive. That is uh, really easy and quick and cost effective to do with digital. Uh, and as a sort of little example, you know, what we've, what we've been able to do is show customers within a design, you know, on the same sheet, lots of very subtle color variations, which is something that marketeers ask for a lot. And they can see it. They can see exactly how it's going to look on the finished product rather than having to, uh, you know, um, um, use Pantone references and uh, pictures and images and put it together in their head. They don't have to do that guesswork. They can actually just try it, look at it, see it. And they know then once they've signed something off, that's how it's going to look when it prints. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the the great thing about Inkjet, isn't it? It adds so much to flexibility of design and opportunities, as you said, for for just testing out new things, but also, I guess, variable data. So the information on there can be different. So you've got flexibility to 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 run off. You know, well, we we see that we've had requests for you know uh, uh, what we call personalization. People wanting yeah. to put you know, individual names or messages on yeah. packaging. Yeah. And, and it, it is possible to do with, with Litho, but it's, it has limitations and uh, costs associated with it. I sure. mean, that is extremely straightforward to do uh, on a digital press yep. um, at much lower cost. And, and uh, you know, for us, we're, we're sometimes printing 40 units on a sheet well, you can have all 40 of them different. You can have one column different to another column, one row different. You can do anything you want with it. Um, yeah. But it gives you quite good margin, doesn't it, Richard, in terms of, you know, though you say it's a lot cheaper than doing analog, it's, it's still a good margin, in effect, for the, you know, for the cost of a digital print. Yeah, I mean, di digital has, has sort of different uh, economics to... to um, to Litho, you know, Litho is a very, very good solution. No question when the run sizes are, are large, the ink costs are much lower. At the moment, the productivity on the machines is, is much higher, um, but the setups are, you know, large. It takes a long time to set up a press. It's an expensive press, um, but then once you're running, it's extremely efficient. So for, for larger order sizes, um, you know, when you're talking, you know, we have order sizes of 40,000 units and 20,000 units, for the foreseeable future, it's always, I think, going to make sense to, to print those using Litho technology as, because it works really well. At the moment, um, below 500 units, the, the uh, upfront one-off setup costs of Litho are <clears throat> you know, really prohibitive. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's where digital, at the moment, looks, uh, looks like a really good option. Yeah. Um, 
I think you know what 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 we're interested in and what we talked about with Matt is is where that pushing that curve further into the more uh, mainstream areas in in terms of order sizes. Yeah, like you said, you you both mentioned that sort of second generation of of partnership between the two of you, you know, between Inca and Tin Masters that yeah. could lead to other things. Because obviously, what I sense is that you are both um, excited about the partnership, and that that and you know that you've both found each other and and thinking this is good. This is actually quite interesting. It's a fantastic opportunity. There is a clear, distinct demand here for this and you both have an opportunity to do that and it's good that you you know it's working so well together yeah well we 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 see a uh, a clear um possibility of a sort of transformation in in metal print uh in a, in a reasonably short time scale and and that is probably dependent on a um a single pass solution coming through but yeah. we don't we don't we certainly don't sit, think that's impossible we think that's uh, that's, that's a reasonably high likelihood and, and uh, we want to be at the forefront of that and, and helping to make sure that it is, uh, you know, as tailored as we can get to the needs of metal packaging. Sure. And I Matt, think if it comes, it, it will have a, you know, it will have quite a big effect in our market. Yeah, of course. And, and I was just going to say to Matt, I guess from your point of view as, as a business that is looking for new business always, then of course this is a great showcase for the technology that you deliver isn't it so you know if a, if a german uh, company came to you and said oh you know we're interested in what you've done you've already started to have that sort of case study there, haven't you? yeah absolutely uh, very much so fraser and you know just sort of echoing richard's richard's point there at the end and and, and what you're what you're saying inca positioning itself as a, 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 a a forefront leader in, in development and technology for inkjet you know lends itself for all sorts of markets applications integration projects you know we, we we've got the capability in terms of print engine but also the full solution on how we integrate feeders and stackers and um, you know to give you a, a fully inline solution that's that's competitive and, and meets meets the requirements you know there's, there's um, a number of uh, opportunities for us um, but also you know what this really shows today for for inca is that you know if we if we reach out um, and we set up the right partnership with the right um, you know the right working relationship in terms of a collaboration then um, it's very important because that helps us shape and define the product uh, rather than us bringing a product to market which we then have to you know uh, tweak or modify um, according to customer needs. So it's really important for us to identify the key players in certain markets, such as Tim Masters in, in sheet metal, and have their input um, because together, you know, then we get we get it right, and that's yeah. a success story. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah, you know, and that's nice to hear, and, and that's a good point to end this discussion. Really, I guess from the point of view of both of you, um, from the point of Inca. You know, you'd be interested in anyone who's listening who wants to talk about a project or, you know, an opportunity, you know, love to hear from you. And, and also from Richard's point of view, I guess, equally, anyone listening here, who's, you know, a customer of uh, someone like Tin Masters or, you know, that is interested in the ability that they will have from October with that, with that technology, then uh, get in touch. Gentlemen, thank you very much, both of you. It's been a pleasure to have a conversation with you. And uh, let's, let's, let's hope that uh, business starts flowing in, in October. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you.